Continuing coverage now, a U.S. Army soldier in Grafton native was laid to rest today, surrounded by friends, family, and local military. Our Ron L. Hunt was in Taylor County and explains how the community came together to show their love for a local hero. Hundreds of Taylor County residents lined the streets of Grafton Wednesday afternoon to show their support for U.S. Army Command Sergeant Major Timothy Allen Bolliard, who had lost his life in Afghanistan on September 3rd. Our mission is to support those who are serving. Uh, Sergeant Major Bullyard made the ultimate sacrifice. He's a local guy. Uh, our friends, our family know his friends and family. We know the teachers and educators where he went to school. So it's like losing a member of the family. Bullyard began his service in 1994 where he was a six-time recipient of the Bronze Star with two of those awards being for valor. Local Air Force veteran Harold Austin says it warms his heart to see fellow military being honored for risking so much in the name of freedom. Said it's an honor to see them people to come and even honor you after you're gone. And I think it's a good thing that everybody should do it because they, they uh, put their life on the line for this country. Those same risks that Army veteran Booney Jarvis believes carries through the bloodline of West Virginia with the help of soldiers like Bulliard. Statistically, West Virginia per capita, we have more people serving than any other state in the nation. Uh, West Virginia, it's not should I go to the military, it's when I'll go. Uh, it's a responsibility, it's an honor to serve. Our freedoms that we have is because of those who have served. Reminding us that heroes wear more than just capes, but fight for the freedom that we have each day while wearing the American flag. Reporting in Grafton for 12 News, I am Ronnell Hunt.